Ray J is acting as if he wants to be the judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to the Ratchet World. Now, the Ratchet World is the Zeus Network type of content where fighting is your talent. World Star Hip Hop being uh, uh, put onto these platforms is content now you know when when it was free on the internet now all of these people think that they're famous and think that they're celebrities so it's a niche market the ratchet world that's ran by instagram and thought culture okay the claremont twins look like two great dang dogs on baddies caribbean last night and i'm glad they gone because they ain't finna bust no grape and if they get in one fight one of them boobs and one of them ass ain't gonna pop so we don't want to see the claremont twins anyways but ray j is wanting to profess to be the king of this ratchet world. He feels entitled. Obviously, Ray J grew up in the business. He has nepotism. He, uh, I think he made like $35 million off of selling the scooters to an offshore company. I still have questions about that deal because I'm like, you know, if I see you making a product and it's working for you, why would I need to go in business with you when I can just go to China and get the same goddamn product and put my brand and label on it? So it's very suspect as to how certain business deals are made and transpired. Let me just put that out there. So he sold uh, his scooter line, I think, for $35 million. And then on top of that, he owns $18 million of the shares in the ride share company. I think it's a Ger Ger Germany company. So he has millions of dollars at his disposition. And he said that he pretty much put $1.5 million or $3 million into Tronics Network. And I have a Lori supporter of mine, shout out to Sandiva, who actually subscribed to Tronics Network. And I'm like, well, what's the content? Besides WAC 100, getting off with his fetishes, having transgenders fighting each other. It's old content, old behind the scenes of Blueface and Chris Sean from years ago. And it's just like, it really, it's not giving the content. So Ray J, instead of him, you know, being a, a real competitor, there was a video release, and I can't show it on YouTube, even if I could find it. There was a video release of Lemon Pepper getting DDT'd and beat up in the parking lot outside of Zeus Network, and nobody stopped it. And I'm like, how can you cry and file a copyright can't complaint about you getting beat up when everything that you put out there and published is black women fighting against each other? So Ray J has an issue with Lemon Pepper, quote unquote, infiltrating ratchet culture. And this is what he had to say. Lemon Pepper, I'm going to give you three hours, dog. I'm going to give you three hours to admit all your wrongdoing to everybody you've been fucking over and doing bad deals with and putting your hands on. Like you like a. You like a black Harvey Weinstein. Mm -mm. I'm gonna give you your own opportunity to apologize, tell the world everything that's happened, tell the world what you're still doing now. Apologize, at least in that manner, and then step down and get lost out of our cities of ratchet and reality television. You don't belong here. You're a criminal and you're a nerd. Three hours, bro. Nobody you can call to stop it. You've been calling, blocking all my shit from the social media. You can't stop me on Tronics, bro. You can't get in that system. Ain't nobody you paying in there. You're a bum. Everybody that works with you knows that. So if y'all even got some, some decency to yourselves, y'all should quit now because the rain is on the way. The rain is on the way, bro. Shout out to Cap'n for likes for this amazing content. Shout out to her. Ray J, I feel Ray J is a hater. Ray J, just do your own thing. You got Stunner Girl. You got so many different people. I mean, Mona Scott never had a problem with uh, people going from VH1, Love and Hip Hop, to Zeus Network. Why do you need to tear down another person's brand and reputation in order to build yours? That's the that I don't fuck with. I'm sorry. But a lot of people have pointed out the fact that Lim Lemon Pepper, his father, looks like... Um, a very handsome, well-to-do man, respectable man. Um, his father it lives in Israel, and his father is a pastor over in Israel. Now, I don't know what that has to do with business ties or anything, because even if people are saying, oh, you're connected to this person or that person, and this is how you got in, well, hey, everybody has their own journey. That still does not have anything to do with the fact that, Ray J, you have millions and millions and millions of dollars so that you can actually fund content and pay the artists and pay the actresses, wannabe actresses, or these, you know, girls that think getting the BBL, who can fight the best, is content. You can do that. You don't have to hate on Lemon Pepper. Now, I talk crap about Lemon Pepper, but I have to be careful because 
I know people that are directly connected to him. I can hit up somebody that can call him right now and he would answer the phone for that person. He won't answer for me. And that's the world of networking. I advise Ray J to focus on his own thing. Um, Christian Rock already put the tea out about Lemon Pepper uh, being, quote unquote, the next Diddy or whatever else you wanted to say. That tea has already been put out there. Nobody really cares, honestly, Ray J. Um, please stop hating on him. That's what it's given. Um, this is a little shrimp dude. Don't nobody like I, I'd rather see P. Diddy get in a fight opposed to Lemon Pepper. That shit that coming out, I think it's kind of like crazy. Like, who the fuck? This is my question. I, this is my intake on the situation. First, it's kind of funny because how the fuck Stunner had the receipts, but you know, that's Stunner girly. Fuck that. You, you gonna get something. She gonna have the proof. When she, when she pops shit hard on the internet, my thing is, just be careful of the dog. She like, uh, what's her name? She got all the receipts and she, she going to expose in her mess. But, uh, it's just funny because, um, I personally work with Zeus, so I know what happened. You feel me? So everything, everybody been saying, y'all just find out about old shit. My intake on it is, um, somebody sent that to her, to Stunner, that don't like Natalie, that be with Natalie, that have those conversations. Because on the phone, it sounded like Lemmy was talking to Natalie. And at the end, Natalie laughed it off because she knows she's in trouble with Lemmy. So this is one of those conversations that Natalie would have with Lemmy. Because that's her boss. So she got played it like, if it, she let that nigga say bitch, all type of shit to her. She went, okay, okay. And then, you know what I'm saying? She good. She back in, you know, at the face of baddies, chasing her dreams. So I, I feel like a lot of bitches just be getting... They self pimped out from situations only because of situations. But my intake on it, I have no clue. Um, I think it's some regular LA shit. Like it's some politics going on. Um, they got cool like family, and then now the politics is mixed with that family cool situation they got going on. So it comes off as to us like weird. They got a cult. I don't fucking know, but um, I think. Uh, a lot of shit just gonna start coming out. That's it. Like I just think that's just the beginning. Like all that little shit that came out. It's probably uh worse shit. But I'm about to leave y'all. Come on, right? Get the going.